was the issue with my signal, which I showed in my previous layout. Well, the question was asked, so I will now try and demonstrate very carefully what the issue was that I had. Um, now, just to identify some of the wires here first. This one and this one are for the well, you don't see it here very well. The, the LED uh, diode that is for the light, and they are somewhere. I think there. You've got your diode and your resistor. Normally, they would run through the body and come out here as well. But when I did my repair, I found it's too difficult to do that. So I've just running them, you can't see them, they're actually at the back, but the two wires coming down, so I'm threading them separately. So it's a completely different uh, circuit, if you will, and you can just ignore that because it has no uh, bearing on the function of, of the signal. And as I said, this is just a solenoid. As you can see, the I had to rewrap the, the coil yeah, it doesn't look very pretty, but it functions. And you've got your set metal solenoid that goes up and down, and it's connected to this slider, which obviously is what moves the signal on, which is this bit here. And if I can get it to focus onto the signal. Uh, let me show you on on this one. You can see the. If I get the camera in, you've got the metal arm that comes up to here, and that moves that up and down. The issue I had with my uh, signal not functioning was uh, it's very difficult to see here, but in here there are the contacts which provide uh, where the power goes so you've got your yellow is your like live wire coming in and then these two blue is where you switch it so you put power onto this and it activates a coil and moves it in one direction put power onto the blue activates the other coil and pushes it back as I said, the issue I had was, and I can just get in very carefully here, you can just see these sliders here. There was dirt in them, so they weren't making uh, contact. Well, they're making contact only in one direction and uh, not the other. So uh, I had to very carefully uh, take this out and, and give it a clean. Now, these. Uh, signals also come with another contact on the other side here which is if you want to use the um, the stop function on, on the signal I, uh, you wire it up so that when it's the signal is at stop uh, if you've isolated a section of track it kills the power to that section of track um, that's, as I said another separate circuit you can just see there's a little bit of the red cable that is soldered on at the bottom here that would lead away and uh, there would be two of those I don't need that function so uh, to make fixing this easier I just removed those wires and didn't bother about this um, slider here so that was uh, that's basically how these these signals work you've got your two springs so when the slider moves up uh, there's a a little bit of give I'm not actually quite sure what what they do uh, really because it's just the solenoid that moves them up and down the spring on this one uh, is a little bit kinked but it appears to have no bearing whatsoever on, on the function whatsoever and the slider as you can see is actually connected uh, here to a pivot and so uh, when it moves, it, it makes the, this go up and down. It's quite a clever little design, really. 
you've got to be also be very careful when doing this. You've got some very fine uh, wires here that are soldered onto the other side of this board uh, where the metal plates uh, slide up and down. You've got to be very careful you don't uh, catch them on anything or, or break them. Uh, so that really is uh, how, the, how this uh, signal works. What I've also uh, been doing is weathering some of these uh, hopper wagons uh, from Brower. I have got four of, of these, uh, a total of uh, 12 wagons in total, and we'll see them running uh, in a minute on the on the layout. Being pulled by one of my V uh, 200s. Probably not the right uh, engine to be pulling them, but uh, you know my layout. Uh, I run what uh, I think looks good, and not uh, maybe what would have actually happened in real life. So we'll uh, we'll see that in a minute. These were these wagons were weathered using uh, some oil washes I, I made myself. A sort of dark brown, almost black in colour, some rust uh, powders, and I've also spray painted some of the panels a slightly different uh, tone just to give them the appearance of either having been repainted or, or replaced over the years. I do have to say uh, these are quite good uh, wagons, highly detailed, there's a lot of rivet uh, detail which hopefully the, the weathering will have made uh, more pronounced so uh, it, it looks good uh, when, they, when they go around the layout.